everyone, Joy here. I'm back with this week's Minimalist Home Tour. In this week's Minimalist Home Tour, you'll be able to see my home is not super dirty, but it's also not super clean. But there are a couple things that are strewn around my house, a couple things that I no longer keep that is indicative of the different aspects of my life that I'm working on. And I also would like to remind people, being human means we do have to care about a lot more things than just one thing. For instance, if you spend all your time only caring about fitness, you're not even going to have time to be social. You're not going to have time to care about other people's sufferings. You're not going to have time keeping your house clean. So either somebody has to do it for you or you have to live in a pigsty so on and so forth. All of us need food, water, sunshine, safe shelter, companionship, community, sense of purpose and safety, so on and so forth, to feel like a whole human being. Anything less than that would be very, very dehumanizing. Remember last week I said something about mind and heart, right? You could know what's the right thing to do. You could have all the knowledge in the world, but if you simply do not care in your heart, you're simply not going to do anything about anything really. And I used to think that this carefree attitude of like, oh, I don't care about anything um, was cool. The more experiences I have, the more I realized that's simply not true. Um, because then I would be very, very poor in the sense of the eternal wealth that I talked about in last week's video. All of us are here for brief and short amount of time and we can all choose to make a positive, good impact as much as possible during the limited time that we have on this earth. You could criticize me for being hippie dippy or whatever, but any great achievement that we have, whether it's advancement in medicine, where it's, you know, more rights for oppressed groups, regardless of what group it is, um, any kind of positive change that we had, any kind of contributions that humanity made collectively is because some people believe in legacy and trying to make as great and positive of an impact as possible while being imperfect human beings while they were on this earth. And you know, just in case anybody still doesn't get it on my channel with me, if you're wondering why I don't just talk about minimalism and I seem to care so much about different types of social justice and talk about so many different topics, it's because my channel is Gallery by Joy. It's a gallery of a human being named Joy. You could argue you also have a gallery. I happen to know what kind of beautiful paintings that I want to keep in this gallery and share with the world. And you cannot tell me to only care about certain issues when in fact it's all tied together. Um, it's like breathing air and drinking water and sleeping. We need all of those things to be a complete human being. And because I accept it, I have grace uh, to allow myself to be imperfect while also working towards being better. And by giving myself that grace, I'm able to give other people the grace. So if you feel like you don't have it all together, you don't know enough, you didn't care in the past, I'd like to invite you to forgive yourself, but also make effort to try and be better. It could be anywhere between decluttering a couple items that are cluttering your home, that are making you unhappy. It could expand all the way to changing the world. No matter what it is, make sure it's a worthy cause. Make sure it does not violate the rights and, and beauty of other human beings. And I know sometimes, you know, because I'm a very ambitious person, I have many goals. And sometimes I do fear never reaching any of them, but then I remind myself, no human being is perfect. No human being will reach all of their goals 100% of the time. And I do know between the choice of doing nothing and never trying to make anything of my life versus trying to be better, trying to make life better, not only for me, but for everybody else, that's a worthy struggle. And even if I never reach any of the goals that I set out for myself, I do know that I'll get closer to it. And if somebody else who is more capable or who is more ready or who is in a better position to reach these goals saw me, and if I could inspire at least one of them to make slight progress towards their future, I would have done my job as a human being. And I'm reminding myself, it's okay not to be perfect but there's contingency as long as we're working towards being better. That's what I wanted to talk about this week. Don't lose hope, stay positive, do your best. And without further ado, let's start this week's Minimalist Home Tour. Let's go. Hi y'all, we'll start this week's Minimalist Home Tour from the living room slash bedroom as usual. Um, you can see I have not put on the bed covers. Uh, they're separate because it's already time to wash them. Um, I haven't really been able to stay on top of the task. But over here, it's my petting and then my backpack. And then these are some new towels for my work that I'm going to bring to work. 
And of course, I use my hangers as a coat. I mean, my door handles as a coat hanger. And this is kind of like how my room looks from this angle. Um, as you can see, I've not been staying on top of household tests. For instance, these are clean laundry that need to be folded and put away in here. I've not folded everything as you can see. And up here, this pile of clothes is actually my workout clothes. I did some jump ropes last night and then I wanted to wear these again tonight um, before washing them, so that's why they're there. Of course, I got my board game here, my yoga mat back there, my book here. And then this little thing is actually used for my belts and socks or stuff like that. But um, obviously my book's in there for now. And of course, toilet paper and this charger things out here. And, you know, I just wanted to show you, I am not really staying on top of uh, household tasks all the time. Because again, I don't want to be a maid to my own home. As you can see, it doesn't get too messy because I've got like systems like where I put away dirt uh, in one corner and stuff like that. Again, I do need to put away some summer clothes into that suitcase. Maybe I need to make a video about that soon. And while we're at it, let's go into the fridge. Um, as you can see, there's some food trash that needs to be taken out. And, you know, some snacks and uh, stuff like that. Food in here that I can eat. And we'll move over here into the bathroom. Ta-da! Uh, again, same, same thing. Uh, wet bathroom with the, the shower head up there. Hi. <laughs> Uh, there's my shampoo conditioner and then this thing's my friend's uh shower gel and this is foam cleanser and then there's a mouthwash and then there's of course two mold killing solutions the one on the right is a spray on solution i've got two scrubbers bigger scrubbers for floor and toilet smaller scrubbers for top surfaces and sink this sink needs to be drained because it's having a little bit of drainage problems so that's another task that i need to do that i'm aware of uh, but not stressing out too much as of yet and over here you can see on top there's like an extra toothbrush uh, my friend just told me i can just keep it so i'll use that for myself later and then of course there's like sun sun cream and extra foam cleanser that my mom gave me blackhead remover deodorant and the uh q-tips and of course more toilet paper my skin toner skin cream body lotion um just more ointments and then body mist toothpaste and this toothbrush is my friend's and this one's mine and then there's uh my floss and hairbrush so i've got everything i need it's pretty much a normal situation over here and of course we got our floor heating uh for heating the floors because this is korean home we walk around in the house without shoes on obviously and of course this is my kitchen this box needs to be thrown away i ordered my makeup in there that's why it's here i'll throw it away on my way to work this morning and of course, I got three pairs of shoes. I got three more pairs at work. One uh, stringless uh, slip-on sneaker and two heels that I wear at work. One of the heels broke, uh, so I need to fix it. But I do want to fix it because it was uh, shoes from my aunt. And over here, um, I want to show you I got a new thing. I got actually got this new plain cup. Um, and I threw away the other brand cup. But you can see this is very uh, simple and nice. And it was only $2. <laughs> So that's very nice. And um, yeah, I've got my headphones there, uh, my Brita. Uh, let's go down here just real quick. I don't have trash cans, so I keep my trash sort of propped up there. Uh, and I'm utilizing the shape and volume of trash to keep things up. Uh, there's more trash bags and there's of course like a laundry bag that I can take to work. And then there's a uh, bug killing spray and then there's uh, laundry detergent. I go through detergent pretty quickly, obviously. And of course, there's a little scrubber there, and we will move into the cabinet. I keep everything in there. I did buy more toilet paper. That's why they're here. But yeah, more rice packets. I have not cooked at home in so long. I really need to do that soon. Uh, but yeah, of course, I keep my miscellaneous items, anything from sunglasses to whatever. And then, you know, I've got my little bags that I got as gift a while back. And of course, there's nothing in here. And y'all, that is my home tour for this week. And let's just go to the outro. So that was my minimalist home tour. I hope y'all liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time with more content. Bye.